Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is a complete fail. My memory card ran out of space and by accident I deleted the video that shows the eye look. So I will definitely redo this eye look and get back to you on that. But for now, you got the look and the face and this is the look that I came up with. I really wanted to try one of those invisible liner looks, but I think I need to move that line towards the inner corner more. So I'm gonna start by priming with the Farsali Unicorn Essence. The more I use this, the more I fall in love with it. It makes my face really tacky. And it helps it from not moving around during the day and it's just very long wearing. I really love it and it's good for the skin. So I'm gonna use the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I've I haven't used this foundation in a while and I really do love this foundation, but I do find it a little tougher to blend than say the Lancome Tanti Doll Stick Foundation. So then I take the Farsali Gold Drops and just put that on my brush. It makes it a lot easier to blend out that foundation since it is a little bit tougher. Next, I'm going to use the Soft Matte Concealer in Macadamia. I love this concealer. It is just so full coverage, but so lightweight. And it's just such a, ugh, I love it. And the brush I'm using is the e.l.f. Concealer Brush. I love this for priming my lids and doing my under eyes with this specific concealer since it doesn't come with a doe foot or anything. And then I like to go in with my beauty blender and really just press it into the skin, make it look seamless and airbrushed. And then I'm going to use the Airspun from Cody. This has like a slight pink shade to it, so it's not completely white or translucent, which I think helps with the flashback. I don't find that there's flashback with this. And then you'll see in a second that I puff out my cheek and put it in my smile lines. I find that cooking my smile lines like this really helps not have the foundation settle into it and get creasy. And then I did use the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. I'm just going to sweep that transition shade I used, which you didn't see, on the bottom lash line, and then go in with a butter bronzer. And then I'm just going to bronze my face like I usually do. Back to that lower lash line now. I only put that transition shade because I'm not connecting it like I usually do since I was going for that invisible liner look. But I didn't want that lower lash line to be completely naked. Yeah. Then I'm going to go in with that Too Faced Pro Glow palette and just use that contour shade on the very edges of my face and in the hollows of my cheeks to really make that shadow because it is a more cool toned, ashier shade. And then I do the same thing on my nose, just use that same shade to contour and dust it off with the bakage and it just really blends it out really well. And I'm gonna use the Tarte blush that I got from Sephora on my birthday and use that on my cheeks. I've been really loving the color of this. And then just tease up the front of my brow and then shape them with hair-like strokes. I kind of just fill in the same places that my hair is naturally without over drawing them like a line or anything. So it looks helps it look really natural but full and thick and beautiful. Then I'm just going to clean that up with the same concealer I used under my eye, the NARS Soft Matte. And I really just love this concealer. I think it's my new favorite actually. Then I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the same glitter I used in my crease, the Stila Magnificent Metals. I've been seeing this look on Instagram and I love it. And then I'm going to go in with the Cover FX Drops in Halo and Celestial and just a dab of the Halo just to give it a purple tint since the eye look is a purple look. And I just blend that out with the Beauty Blender. However, I will blend it in with my finger just to get more exact and then I'll go in with the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit with that white shade and really just put that on the high points of my cheekbones and then on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose because it really just is so blinding this color and I love it. And then I'm going to take that violet shade in the Alchemist palette which then my camera cut out again because I had no memory left so I just went over that white shade with that shade and then now I'm lining my lips with Kylie Lip Kit in Moon. And then I'm going to go in with a shade that I custom made for my birthday at the Bite Lip Lab in New York. If you're ever in New York or where there's a Bite Lip Lab, I highly recommend doing the Bespoke Lip Service. It's just so much fun. So I made this sandy nude shade and it looks a lot pinker on camera right now than it does in person. It's a little browner in person than it is pink. So that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will get this eye look up, I promise. But for now, just subscribe and stay tuned.